For more now on the gun safety issue, Rhonda is with Darnell, who has put on his crime and safety hat. Rhonda? <laughs> yes, and a key part of gun safety proposal tries to prevent a person from actually having a gun, a person who should not have a gun. And Darnell is here to explain more about this because it, it can get tricky. It can. It can get very, very tricky. So this red flag law is very interesting, Rhonda, because what this does is it calls for family members or any individual or the police to be able to say that a person should not have a gun for whatever reason. So police can take the gun for three days and that person has to wait for a hearing. The judge has the power then to remove the gun for up to a year. And lawmakers are expected to pass a vote on this proposal very, very soon. So this is very interesting. Again, the, the proposal is it's, it's something that is really unique and something that is, it, it's been talked about a lot and it's something that they want to do to try to, to sway or make gun safety just more appropriate for everybody that, that has to deal with some of these challenging issues that we're facing today. And some of the challenges are these guns getting into the wrong hands, even in your own home in terms of locking up your guns, keeping the ammunition and the guns in separate places. Where do you store them? Uh, and that you know, if you ever need it right away, can slow your response time down in a, in a situation. Absolutely. One of the things that that, that is, if, if you're going to own a gun, they, you know, you have to be very responsible. And so one of the things that there that we look at is, is talking about how you, you be responsible with that gun. So you, if you're going to keep the gun at home, su suggestions are to keep it unloaded, uh, to keep ammunition in a separate area than where you keep the gun. Use a trigger lock or a gun safe lock box or something like that. But that poses a huge problem, Rhonda, because if we do those things, if a person breaks into your home, then, you know, you're trying to get that gun un unsecured and you're trying to get the ammo and find it. And it, it it's really a, a, a challenging situation and a hard thing to balance mm -hmm. when you're talking about But the about last it. thing you want is for a child, as we have seen time and time again, to get their hands on that gun and we have seen the outcomes here time and time again, and that's what you what you want to prevent. Absolutely. So it, it's a balancing act. If you if you have a small child, that's something that you want to consider. Mm -hmm. You want to consider locking that gun and making sure that gun is, right. is in a place where it's secure and the mm -hmm. child doesn't have access. Safety to it. measures should be different if you have a, small children. Absolutely. absolutely. We love your perspective. Thank you, Darnell. Thanks.